Hey Libra, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. This should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. Um, this can either be your situation or your partner's. It really just depends. Um, but I am pulling on the energy, so it can be the energy for the situation. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post. Also too, please feel free to comment. I love when you guys comment. I love interacting and um, building that connection with you guys and, you know, getting to know one another on, you know, a deeper level. So, all right, Libra, Libra, Libra. Who's Libra's person of interest romantically? Okay, the Hermit. So you guys could be dealing with a Virgo or actually not having any type of communication with this person. Um, how does, ooh. Okay, I was going to say, how does Libra feel about this person? And it is death reversed. So, um, or your person could possibly be a Scorpio or have Scorpio in their chart. What is the current situation with Libra and their person of interest romantically? What's the situation currently with them? Okay, Queen of Cups. But let me ask one more time because I didn't completely flip out. What's Libra's situation with their person of interest, their romantic person of interest, or their partner? Okay. Nine of Wands. All right. What is the unexpected or what's blocking Libra in this person romantically? What's the blocking or what's blocking or, okay. You have uh, the Devil. So possibly a Capricorn is blocking this or a level of fixation, a level of control. We'll have to clarify it. Um, what's the unexpected that's going to happen this week for love and romance for Libra? Uh, the unexpected. Ooh, two of cups. You know, that's what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, so Cancer, Pisces, or Gemini. And what's the weekly outcome for Libra? with love and romance. What's this weekly outcome? Best potential outcome with love for Libra. Okay. Nine of cups. So Libra, obviously something that you want is coming around. Um, I feel like for a period of time, you know, if you've not been speaking with this person or if something's been hidden, cause you do have the moon card here and, um, that's the top of the deck. Bottom of the deck is the star. So, you know, I feel like emotions are extremely high right now. That's the first thing. I think that, you know, there's something that definitely needs to change with inside of this relationship. And maybe change is coming this week. That's why we do have the star card here with the moon. Because you can see that it starts off a little bit busted, but then it ends beautifully. Um, also, too, something I do want to mention is you guys could be waiting for a message. You guys could be waiting to not be blocked. There's something here with some type of message coming in or some type of hope that's being fulfilled that maybe once wasn't being articulated or once wasn't being communicated. Can you give me a little bit more information on Libra's person of interest, please? Um, okay. So you guys could be dealing with, you know, a Virgo. I feel like you and this person are not talking or you and this person are at odds. One person is definitely taking time for themselves. Your partner is probably taking time to kind of reevaluate the situation. This person could also possibly be a fire sign or have fire in their chart. Aries, Sag, or Leo. Uh, this is definitely Leo coming in strongly because Leo, you know, is a fixed sign and fixed signs are the kings. Um, I think that you're highly attracted to this person. I think that this person is very passionate, very intense, regardless if they're a fire sign or not. Like this person is, you're very attracted to this person. This, this person is somebody that actually a lot of people are attracted to. And I think that for you, it's like, they look good. They smell good. You know, there's a level of fixation here. As I said that, here we go. Here's Libra, right? on this person. Also too, with the king coming out here, the king of uh, swords, you know, you can view this person as your best partner, right? You can view this person as your better half because Libra is a what? They're an air sign, right? So typically air signs, usually like their best match is another air sign because they can communicate on that level. You know, a king and a queen. It's like, 
if you have a queen of swords with a king of pentacles, like those two are a little bit of opposite energies where this person is coming in, you know, as somebody who communicates on your level and who understands you from a mental aspect, uh, Libra, that I think others don't have. Also too, this person could definitely be blocking you and being a little bit cold at this moment. Um, because maybe things are just not working out the way that they want. Um, maybe you guys aren't physically seeing one another. And I feel like this person is, is, is really depressed and possibly in their head about the situation. Definitely can be, you know, a, uh, any of the air signs or Leo. Leo's coming in strongly. Uh, so is Aries, but definitely Leo. Um, another characteristic, please. Okay. Three of swords. There was definitely something here where a relationship has ended with you guys or this person felt the need to end the relationship, possibly because they thought that there was a third party. Why would they, why, why would that be the end? Why? Because of the king of swords. Um, you know, that can definitely be you. It, it, it could be the fact that, you know, there's not enough emotions being shared here. There's not enough, um... It, it, it's very frank and to the point, right? And it's almost like sometimes some people can handle that and then some people can't. Also too, it's like love is definitely made from a level of strength here. But, you know, true love, and I'm saying this because, you know, it's important. It's about going beyond strength and it's also having a different level of strength. And I feel like with this King of Swords, it's, it's not just, you know, for them, it has to make logical sense. You have to make logical sense to them. And if they felt like for whatever reason, or you felt like for whatever reason, Libra, that there was a third party involved because there is somebody watching here and feeling left out, this person was going to cut it before anything else could start. And as you see here, you have the eight of pentacles. Like it's, it's whatever is being offered is no longer enough. Something else has to be offered here. There has to be, um, a level of love that's offered. You can't continue to do the same thing with this person because they're just ready to walk away. Also too, it's like you really have to, or maybe they really tried to get to know you or you really tried to get to know them. Um, despite somebody really, really holding back and not necessarily showing exactly who they are, right? It's like, sometimes I think Libra puts on this face to the world because they want everybody to like them and they want to stay balanced. But then in the inside, you know, they are ruled by Venus, which is love and relationships and that type of thing. And, and it's not this level of harshness that I think definitely comes out when you do have, um, you know, this, this eight of pentacles type of, you know, type of energy. Um, also too, I think having a different approach with this person, if you guys, you know, are interested, taking a different approach with them is important. You need more of like a gentle or like affectionate, um, more of like a tender approach because things are very different right now. And, you know, I think for your partner, it's like you have to do something out of the box in order for them to feel comfortable with this situation, in order for something to be, you know, sincere. You have to do something that maybe you haven't wanted to do. How you feel about this person is death reverse. I don't think that you're ready to let them go. Maybe they ended the relationship, but you're like, nah, you're mine. Okay. Possibly with a Aries. Okay. Or, um, you know, you're not ready to let that situation go. There's a level of power here. There's a level of control that you want with this person. And I do feel like you're not ready to let somebody take the best thing that's ever happened to you in your, in your life. Because you guys do really show up as the perfect pair. You have the emperor and now you have the empress. Um, you know, it's not king and queen energy right now, Libra. Like this is really emperor and empress. This is really like everybody's over here stepping their game up. Everybody's showing up. And for you and this person, you have the potential 
or you feel like you have the potential uh, Libra to make this something that is out of this world and like a once in a lifetime type of love. It's really beautiful. What does Libra like about this person? The chariot, okay? I think, and that's definitely cancer energy. I think that you like the fact that despite all the odds that this person is facing, the fact that they continue to have a level of forward movement and them still maintain that balance, visually stimulating and still continue to push forward, that's highly attractive to you. It's also attractive with the fact that they're very much in control of a situation. And I do think that this person is very honest. Um, I do think that you are highly sexually attracted to this person. And I think for whatever reason, Libra, there's a lot of like magnetism here between you and them. Yeah, I said, what's the energy of the devil? And it's the queen of swords. So she's very fixated. She's very focused. Devil can definitely be Capricorn. You guys maybe are very focused into a Capricorn. But honestly, like put the side, put the signs aside. You're not willing to let something end with somebody that you feel so drawn to, so connected with. And for you, it's like you know that this person, like you like like for you, you and them can really just go on some type of adventure. Like you feel like if you guys are able just to leave together and have a moment together just of like an outburst or just, you know, things just like combusting and blowing. Like the moment that you guys see each other, the moment that you guys have that intimate connection with one another, because I do think that this is driven um, around a sexual type of energy. The moment that you guys have that, it's fucking mag it, 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 it's magnificent. It, it's magnetic. It blows the fuck up. It takes things to a whole other level that people can't even speculate. People can't even understand how you and this person work, but you guys really are the emperor and the empress. You guys are each other's balance. You know what I mean? But but that has to be communicated. That has to be communicated to your partner or your partner needs to communicate that to you because right now, the fact that things are not being said, because a lot of times, just so you know, I look at the star card as communication, like boom, you get that blue bubble or boom, you get that green bubble popping in, right? The fact that there's a lack of communication here about somebody's feelings, that's what's ultimately destroying this relationship. And I really do think it has to do with protecting, you know, yourself or your partner protecting themselves and not really willing to shed down those layers to show you who they really are or to express themselves and leave themselves vulnerable, right? So your situation is the nine of wands. Why is this? What's causing this weight? What, what's causing it? I think honestly, it's you Libra that's possibly causing it or a Gemini or an Aquarius. Okay, you have the Knight of Swords. There's a level of weight here. This person is waiting for a, some type of communication or the issue is there's a lack of communication and both parties are standing still. What needs to be communicated? Four of Wands. Hey, you're somebody I want to marry. Hey, this these are my intentions with you. Hey, this is definitely Aries. I just want to throw that out there. Um being very frank and very upfront with your intentions with this person is extremely, extremely, extremely important. It's like letting this person know or them letting you know how much of an impact that they make on that you or them make on your, on, on you know, their life. Because again, it can go either way. Either you're not communicating or they're not communicating to you. Either way, both of you guys feel the same way about one another. How does Libra feel about the situation? The five of pentacles. I mean, I think for you, it's like in your mind, you know that things are going to work out. Like in your mind, you know that this person completes you because the five of pentacles in this deck, just in case anybody wants to come in the comments and pop the fuck off. The five of pentacles in this deck is all about completeness. It's all about having, you know, love completing your world and everything around you changing except the love that you have for one another staying, staying a level of consistency. 
And I think for you, maybe this person telling you that, or maybe you expressing it to them, it's like, you love this person. As I said, that 10 of pentacles. I mean, this is a person you want to marry. This is a person, you know, that you're highly, you know, uh, driven about. This is somebody that, you know, you feel like can be your wife or your husband. Um, also too, I do feel like it's like maybe this time of you and this person not talking, it's really giving you or them the period to figure out that, you know, love comes from yourself first. And I'm not trying to hop on a soapbox because that's not my style, but this card is very much about loving yourself first before anybody else can love you. And you have to, you know, really, really, really let yourself be loved. And I think that for some reason, some of us really feel like we don't deserve this or this is too good to be true, which is why we constantly are self-sabotaging, right? There's a level of self-sabotage with inside of this relationship. And it comes from somebody really, really understanding that they deserve this love, that this is something that's real and something that can be taken much, much further. And it's not just a emotional gain, it's a financial gain. You and this person, you guys can be, you guys have the potential of making very, very big moves financially as well as emotionally. Okay, so this is what's blocking or an external influence. Why is the double here with the Six of Cups? So, okay, this can definitely be a Capricorn, Scorpio coming in and blocking the situation. Um, it can be also the mother or father of somebody's children. This can definitely be a level of fixation on the past. You know, maybe somebody was hurt in the past. Maybe there's some type of offer here, but I really do feel like it has to do with an ex, possibly mother, father, uh, ex, you know, somebody that was divorced. There's some, there's something here that's blocking this situation from having a level of forward movement. How does Libra feel about this? Okay, Knight of Swords. You know, I feel like this is something that definitely you feel like needs to be cut. I think that this is something that you have a lot of, you know, feelings on. But remember, with the moon there, it also can be a level of you not knowing what the hell this person's place is, right? And I think for you, it's like the ends justify the means. Um, and maybe right now this person, you know, is coming up as a block for you and them. However, I do want to throw this out there. Don't get it twisted because tomorrow you can be this person's block. And I think that that's how you're taking it. That's how you're taking it in. It's like this person has control right now, but don't get it twisted, honey. That control is going to be coming right back around because there is something that's not being said. How does um, Libra feel about this Queen of Pentacles? Okay. Eight of Cups. Um, you know, I definitely think that for you, it's it's a situation that needs to be left behind. It's a situation that needs a level of forward movement here. Um, also, too, it's like you feel like you and this partner technically cannot get to know one another on this level until, you know, um, this person is gone because they're not, they're not letting down the reserve with you. And I think for you, it's like, you know, this person is honest and sincere, but a lot of times they come off as fake and phony. And this can be the same thing for you. Maybe your partner feels like, you come off hella fake and hella phony because you're not expressing yourself emotionally because what, you know, people are seeing is more so the rougher side of you, the side that you show everybody. But remember, it's that anime and a must, right? Where what we show people is completely different than who we are on the inside. So if you're somebody who comes off as extremely balanced and calm and cool and collective, the reason is because inside you are a control freak. You have a level of control. There's a level of desire, a level of passion 
that you overcompensate for. And that side of you only comes out to those that truly know you. And I think for this person, they know this about you or you know that about them, but that's not changing the situation where somebody has to let their guard down in order to let somebody back in. Okay, so the unexpected is the two of cups. What's causing this? What's causing the two of cups for Libra? Okay, there's something that's being received, okay? So two of cups is clarified by the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles is definitely Taurus, but it's also the minor arcana for justice, which is you guys. So Libra, you may be the one that's giving to, to giving into a situation and having an open line of communication, okay? And it's communicating about the unknown, right? The seven of cups. It's communicating about like, hey, I don't know where the hell this is going, but this is how I feel. What's the energy of the seven of cups, please, for Libra and their partner? Woo. The hangman. I don't know where this is going between us, possibly with a Pisces or an Aquarius. I don't know where this is going between us, but I've been in deep thought. I'm thinking about what I want. And the fact that the two of cups is here, you know, the unexpected is somebody is expressing you know, how they feel, that's definitely Cancer, Pisces, or Gemini, um, their love. And it's something that somebody's been waiting for for a period of time because you do have Sagittarius here. How does um, Libra feel about the unexpected? How does Libra feel about this unexpected? Four of Wands. You feel good. You feel like Okay, things are moving in the right direction. There's a level of stability here. There's a level of, and again, this is Aries, right? There's a level of sexual desire here. There's a level of, okay, yeah, finally, things are getting on the right path. This is the image that I've, you know, thought about for a period of time. This is, you know, really what makes me fall in love with this person. Three of Cups, passion, success, you know what I'm saying? There's a level of success here with whatever shared. And the Three of Cups is definitely Cancer and Venus. And a Venus Cancer, just think about that. This, this is somebody expressing to you the fact that, you know, hey, I want to take care of you. Hey, you know, I want to build a home with you. Hey, this is, this is what a life like me with me or, you know, you expressing to them what it looks like. And I think, honestly, it really does clear up any type of um, hidden emotions or um, things that are being secrets, secrets that are being held. And it's more so revealing a path that makes sense and a path that's very clear. Maybe it's not the easiest thing for the two of you guys, but at least you guys have, you know, something where you can see ahead of you. You can see far enough ahead to know that this situation or this relationship does have the potential of working and the fact that it's emperor empress type of energy it's like this 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 whole relationship is fucking insane and remember you are the empress right that's libra but that emperor the fact that you have that emperor right with you i mean that's bananas and that doesn't happen very often and I think you know, because you're hoping for something here. You're hoping for something hidden to be revealed. And guess what? As your guys' outcome, you have the Nine of Cups. So obviously something comes in that makes you extremely happy and makes you feel like there is a wish that's being fulfilled here. And it, there's an, a level of overindulgence. Um, I'll talk to you guys next week. Peace.